In this video, we will learn how to derive the expansion path of a production function given the prices of the inputs. The question is, determine the equation for expansion path of a production function given by Q is equal to L times K square, where Q denotes the output produced using factors labor and capital, and the price of labor and capital are being given us here 10 and 15 respectively. We need to find out the equation for the expansion path. Okay. Now, what is expansion path? Expansion path is a locus of different points of firm's equilibrium when it changes its total outlay to expand output while relative prices remain constant. The relative prices of the factors remaining constant. Okay, so um, first thing is uh, it is a uh, you know locus of different points of firm's equilibrium. Okay, first we need to know where is the you know equilibrium of the firm occurring if we have you know labor on the horizontal axis capital on the uh, you know vertical axis so let us <coughs> draw the let us say this is our iso cost line of the firm okay equilibrium uh, you know occurs where the iso cost line and the iso count are tangent to each other okay when the slope of the iso count and the slope of iso count sorry iso cost is equal this is the point of equilibrium okay now what happens uh, if the firm wants to you know produce more output let us say we have new iso cost line and correspondingly new equilibrium will occur where the iso cost and iso counts are you know tangent to each other okay then if we join these equilibrium points okay uh, and similarly if we draw another it will get messy so when we join these points so this shows us the expansion path expansion path okay so what we are being given, we are being given production function is Q is equal to L times K square, okay? K and L, price of capital is being given as is $10. Price of labor is being given as is $15, okay? We need to find out the equation for expansion part. So first we need to find out the equilibrium condition for uh, the firm okay equilibrium condition for firm uh, requires that the marginal uh, rate of technical substitution between you know labor and capital should be equal to the ratio of the input price that means price of labor upon price of capital okay marginal rate of technical substitution is simply equal to the marginal product of labor upon marginal product of capital it should be equal to the input prices price of labor upon price of capital okay this mrts is actually this mrts denotes the slope of the iso count okay so i can write so this shows us and let us show it with another color this shows slope slope of iso count and this input uh, this ratio shows us the slope of slope of iso cost line iso cost line when the slope of iso count is equal to slope of iso count, iso count that is a firm equilibrium you know condition now you know the mpl is simply the partial derivative of production function with respect to labor and mpk is partial derivative of production function with respect to capital and it should be equal to the ratio of the prices pl upon pk okay now the partial derivative of this production function with respect to labor derivative of l is one so we are left with k square so k square that means del q upon del l is equal to k square 
Similarly, the partial derivative of this function with respect to capital derivative of k square is 2k. So, we get 2lk. So, we get 2lk. It should be equal to the input prices. Price of labor is 15. And let me see it here. Price of capital is 10. Sorry. Okay, it is uh, clear. So, 15 upon 10 we got here. Price of capital is 10. So, let us do some cancellation. 1k will get cancelled. So, we are left with k upon 2l is equal to 15 upon 10, which comes out to be uh, 3 upon 2. That implies k will be equal to 3 upon 2. If I transpose this 2L, it will get multiplied 2L. Okay. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. That means k is equal to 3 times L. Okay. So this equation is actually our expansion power. Expansion power. Okay. Expansion path simply tells us as firm produces higher and higher level of output, how does their optimal levels of capital and labor change that has been shown by this expansion path. Or we can also say that expansion path shows us how factor proportions change when output changes, holding the relative factor prices constant. Okay, I hope I make myself clear in this video. Thank you.